heavy as a heartbreak A line drawn in the sand Exchanging gifts for numbers A magic slide of hands A lesson to be learned and I'm feeling kind of low I'm living in my element But time is going slow I'm crawling back to you I'm crawling back to you I see you in the night, baby You're looking good But something doesn't seem right And I know that it should I'll be crawling back to you I'm crawling back to you As easy as the sunrise But the clouds still cover me Still something in the moonlight Is where I'd rather be I'm crawling back to you I'm crawling back to you I see you in the night, baby You're looking good But something doesn't seem right And I know that it should I'll be crawling back to you I'm crawling back to you Something doesn't seem right And I know that it should I see you in the night, baby You're looking good But something doesn't seem right And I know that it should I'll be crawling back to you I'm crawling back to you I see you in the night, baby You're looking good Something doesn't seem right And I know that it should I'll be crawling back to you I'm crawling back to you Perfect. Started out, it was just Connor Clark um, Probably late 2015, 2016 Where it was still a full band. It was just operating just under Connor Clark, which seems to be a popular thing now as well. Um, over the time, it just, something was ringing to me, like to say, it needs to be Connor Clark and the something, or Connor Clark's something or other. And I just so happened to be listening to um, a band called Little Matadors. And for some reason, the word <laughs> Matador kept jumping out at me. And I think I was just messing around. And then just the name clicked, Connor Clark and the Matador Kings. And ever since then, it's just kind of stuck. Um, so yeah, that's how that's how like the, the name came about. Um, in terms of like members and stuff, I've went through, you know, a fair few. I think like, a lot of bands go through like a good few amount of members to find like a solid one. Um, between drummers, guitarists, bassists, etc. And it wasn't only until you know, like lockdown had happened and we were in the studio. So there was me, bassist, guitarist. I'm not going to mention any names because this might bite me in the backside. <laughs> um, we were in the studio and the two tracks that were done, Crawling and Can You Feel It, um, we just couldn't come to an agreement on it in terms of production. Um, you know, they didn't like the way that the, ha the song was being handled. And I guess there is two sides to every story. Yeah, we probably sh could have done a lot more work in terms of like input from us rather than the producer we were working with but at the same time when we got the the tracks back 
I was quite impressed with it. I, I enjoyed the sound of it. Our, our drummer liked it as well. Um, but the guitarists and bassists, they just they just weren't having any of it. They, they were just dragging their heels. It was just like, no, we're, we're not happy with it. Um, it got to a point, I was just like, well, you know, we're on mix three now. You've had between then and now to, to voice your opinion and change what you can. I says now we're looking at getting the songs mastered. So we've also got gigs coming up. Are you, you know, are you going to, you know, work your way through? It? And it's got to the point that the bass has turned and says, "Nah, I'm not going to play that song because that's crap. That's you know that shouldn't be there." And I, I just had enough to the point. I just went, "You know what? If you're not going to play it, I'll just find somebody else that will." <laughs> so it's unfortunate, like the, those two guys ended up leaving, and um, because we were good friends beforehand, so unfortunately it it, it spoiled the friendship as well. But, you know, life goes on. Um, I got in touch with an old friend, Craig, who's not with us today. Um, he's actually a really good guitarist, but he could play bass as well. So I got in touch with him to play bass. Um, Ewan was the only guy kind of stuck by my side throughout the, the whole arguments and everything. And then I had another guitarist, uh, Ross, brilliant guitar player, really nice guy. But unfortunately, he just couldn't commit. He, you know, life gets in the way. And unfortunately, he only played uh, two or three gigs with us, and then that was him. He he had left, and then I got in touch with, with Fergus here, and Fergus has been with us like he says just before well, December December, yeah. December uh, twenty twenty one, and since then we've just been practicing and getting in the studio. So the the mm -hmm. two gigs that we've got coming up in May are actually Fergus's first gigs with yeah, us yeah, uh, with the band. So we're we're really excited for that. Well, you know, we were down um, uh, the tunnels just kind of like checking out some new local bands and it's really quite promising, you know, there's some kind of different sound. It's not just kind of what it used to be in Aberdeen, which was like a bunch of people trying to be the 1975, you know, there seems to be some kind of new um, and kind of like exciting people coming up. Yeah, so it's it was really indie, good. the indie band scene like in Aberdeen is definitely on the rise as well and the occasional like punk group or a bit. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, Aberdeen's getting quite exciting, which is great to see. Um, but Scotland as a whole, um, I see it all over Twitter, uh, mainly from people uh, south of the border saying, you know, there's something in the Scottish water. There's there's definitely a noise starting to happen up here, um, which is really exciting to see. And it's great to see like other bands and artists that have each other's back. So mm -hmm. um, particular bands, just for example, I've seen Dictator, they're doing incredibly well for themselves and I, I wish them all the very best. Um, PG Charletta, we played with him um, November last year when we were supporting Skylights. Um, he's very very much got that um, Jerry Cinnamon kind of vibe, so even he's starting to make a bit of noise, which is, again, fantastic to see. Um, and I just hope that all the eyes of, you know, England, Wales, Ireland, even like the rest of the world start looking towards Scotland for, for new and exciting music. So I would easily say in the next couple of years, Scotland is definitely where it's going to be at. You know, it's it's just great to see. Mm -hmm. And I really hope that it just continues to flourish and develop a lot more. Well, let's say short term, we'd love to play the Lemon Tree in Aberdeen. That's kind of like um, a slightly bigger venue than some of the other ones. Um, so we would love to play there at some point, hopefully this year. Yeah, it's um, definitely definitely the, a goal to get the lemon tree this year. Uh, in terms of dream gigs, uh, like for example, short term, lemon tree would be great for us. Um, I definitely think King Tut would be a, a class mm. one. Uh, but I think my ultimate dream, probably Battlelands. Oh, you know, yeah. it's a class venue. I've, I've seen so many bands there. The sound in there is ace. The atmosphere is brilliant. Mm. Um, and I guess you could always aim a lot higher and say oh, a stadium gig like Hamden yeah. or something. But I think we're quite yeah. a far bit out from that but you know one can still dream it'd be good to get on the bill for transmit as well yeah <laughs> something like something like that yeah. um again we're aiming mainly at scotland of course mm. this thing i i definitely think it's the people that make the music in scotland that's for sure and it's the support you get from them mm -hmm. um yeah battlelands has, has got to be the one for me wow, that'd be a good one there yep. yeah too loud It's only a matter only a game and it's gone 
was it really worth it or are we just wasting our time I'm sure you'll start to feel it a little further down the line but don't you take pity out in this city don't you feel shallow drinking in the shadow singing please don't take me please don't take me away whoa just take it slow when it starts to show but when you know just let me let me go it isn't easy so just take it take it slow So tell me to pieces and tell me that you're doing it right Break me like the arrow and find me in the dead of the night Play me like, play me like a game of cards But if you pull a joker, you better keep up your guard but don't you take pity out in this city Don't you feel shallow drinking in the shadow Singing please don't take me, please don't take me away Whoa, don't let, don't let go Just take it slow when it starts to show Just take it slow when it starts to show. But when you know, just let me, let me go. It isn't easy, so just take it, take it slow. So please don't take me away. For me, um, I've, been, I've been listening to them quite a lot, uh, but just now it's been Biffy Clyro mm -hmm. and Death Havana. They've been kind of my go-to ones, and I guess Coasts as well. Although they're they've split up, but their music's still you know valid, I guess. But yeah, Death Havana, Biffy Clyro, and Coasts are the, the bands I've been listening to just now. Yeah, I've, I've been um getting back into some old favourites I've been enjoying the Arctic Monkeys recently but I've also been listening to like Tool quite a lot and a lot of kind of like metal music progressive metal um, this band of like Haunted Shores have just dropped a new album which has been it's been really good and just like, like Pliny and stuff as well I've been really enjoying them recently also drum and bass has been oh, the yeah. thing I've been getting back into <laughs> like Pendulum and I've seen that they were they finally got back together as a band and started playing gigs so I'm praying for a UK tour to go and see them mm -hmm. so yeah Bit of a mixture then between alt rock and indie pop and drum yeah. and bass, just bit of everything. Bit of everything, yeah. <laughs> well, our our new song "Bitterness Is Empty." It's drum and bassy, so I was Very listening to sure. a lot of like Pendulum, Muzzy, 
um, and the sorts, and that's so the, the beat in uh, "Bitterness Is Empty" is like a drum and bass beat, and the people that have heard it so far have always said oh, it's got that like pendulum vibe, and mm-hmm. so yeah, I like taking like dribs and drabs of songs and mm-hmm. making it my own. It's a, it's definitely a step in a different direction. Ah, uh, yeah, totally. Um, it's definitely something different compared to what we've would normally put out um it's got like the drum and bass uh feel to it you know with that um i guess it's a drum pattern you know just a kick snare yeah. something so basic but yeah it's so effective uh it's sound wise it's very like poppy mm-hmm. um but it's definitely in my opinion it's definitely the best one that i've written to me um and a few people that i've, I've let here before it's before it's released um they've all said it's definitely your best one best one yet so we're really excited just to get it out there um i get just for so everyone can hear it and feel the same exciting excitement as us mm-hmm. um the, the song has got like a lot of meaning to it like as i was talking about the previous members they how much like their departure and everything kind of made me feel like that the fact that our a good friendship is now just nothing anymore mm. um so there's like a lot of emotion attached to that song as well which i guess helps mm. but it's definitely definitely an exciting one that's for sure and we really just can't wait to play that one live mm. so yeah so we're putting that one out on the 6th of may that's the the penciled in date mm-hmm. uh just waiting to get the master back and the artwork and mm. we're all good to go just push 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 for getting everybody to hear it and hopefully we'll get some airplay out of it and see what happens with it so we're really hoping it does well i have been working on some other stuff coming up some new tunes as well just yeah you know pushing the boat out going for kind of different styles different tunings all that stuff you know just trying something new um and yeah it's it's really quite exciting One, two, three, and... what's life been like in neverland where the lost boys only have their soul for sale While well, the answer's in the looking glass The time has passed with no looking back But still you try and fail So what's it up for me? Are you gonna take a hit? Are you trying to start a fire? Are you trying to keep it lit? Don't let it drag you in Or let it eat you alive Cause bitterness is empty Like the shadows of your life It's time for you to leave But you always wore your heart upon your sleeve shoulder well it's only getting colder so just hold down gotta find a way out from your troubled life cloak and dagger does it all with the sharpest knife breathe it out suck it in and swallow up your pride I'm on a different level, so don't back me in I'll come far from the corner just to get my win I'll be chasing my dreams all without a sin So what's in it for me? Are you gonna take a hit? Are you trying to start a fire? Are you trying to keep it lit? Don't let it drag you in Or let it eat you alive Cause bitterness is empty Like the shadows of your life It's time for you to leave But you always wore your heart upon your sleeve It's time for me to breathe chip that's on my shoulder well it's only getting colder so 
smoke just sold down It's time for you to leave But you always wore your heart upon your sleeve It's time for me to breathe But the chip that's on my shoulder Well, it's only getting colder So just hold on So just hold on